Hey creators! The ghost effect is quite famous in music videos. Recently, we've seen this effect in Lisa's new music video, and today, we'll recreate it in Filmora. Keep watching. Before we begin, if you haven't already installed Wondershare Filmora, please visit the official website and download the latest version. Then, install it on your computer. Also, remember to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of our upcoming videos. Alright, first, go to the track manager and add 13 video tracks. Then place your footage on track 14 and track 1. Select track 14 clip, go to the AI tools, and on AI portrait effect, this will remove the background while keeping the subject. Then, duplicate it on track and shrink it by 10 frames from the start, then on position keyframe. Then after 10 frames, change the position towards the right side and change the blend mode to color dodge. Then go to the effects, then to new blue effects folder, and from the filters folder, apply the tint effect. Change color to blue, tint to 76, saturation to minus 54, brightness to minus 15, and film gamma to 5. Then go to the Boris effects folder, go to the grades and tint folder, and apply BCC colorized gradient onto the footage. Under settings, expand color and change color to light blue. Change position to 15, then expand midtone and select blue color. Change position to 95. Then expand highlights and change color to blue and position to 100. Now, duplicate it on track 12, change the blend mode to screen and opacity to 40. Then from plus light folder in Boris FX, apply BB plus streaks onto the track 12 footage. Then expand streaks, change brightness to 478, vertical streaks to 500, and choose a light blue color. Then expand matte and change position to 71.60 and range to 63.70. Now, duplicate the track 13 footage to track 11 and change the position towards the left side of the second keyframe. Then duplicate the track 12 footage onto track 10 and change the position on the second keyframe. So, now we have this nice effect. Now, duplicate the footage from track 13 to track 9. Remove the keyframes and set the starting duration to 1 second and 5th frame. Then on scale and position keyframe. Then after 10 frames, increase the scale by 20 and adjust the position. Then go to the effect setting. Change the tint color to orange or yellow and leave the rest of the settings as they are. Then under BCC Colorize Gradient, change the shadow color to yellow and midtone color to light orange and the highlight color to orange. Then duplicate it on track 8. Apply the BBC Plus Streaks effect and change the color to orange or yellow. Now, repeat the same steps to create further effects. Once done, select all the clips and create a compound clip. Now to give it a retro or vintage look, go to the effects and search for vintage and you'll get lots of effects to work with. Then apply old film effects. Then go to the new blue FX folder, then to filters and apply old TV effect. Under effect setting, expand noise and change to 5, chroma to minus 22, change tint to 7, brightness to 1, ghosting to 0. Expand scan lines, set the resolution to 152 and intensity to 20. Then expand horizontal sync and set the severity to 0. Then expand vertical and change speed to 0. Then expand scan phasing, change overlap to 0. Finally, render your project to see the final preview. What are you waiting for? Download or update your Filmora version from the link in the description. If you found it helpful, give us a big thumbs up and share it with your fellow creators and editors. If you're interested in visual effects and tutorials, check out filmora.wondershare.com. See you next time.